Hey guys, Nathan here, and today I'm coming at you with another Lego haul. Today's Lego haul is from Lego.com, Walmart, and eBay. So I got the boxes, two boxes, one from eBay, one from Lego Shop at Home, and then a bag from Walmart. I'll go through the bag from Walmart first. It is the smallest. I went there a couple days ago because I was searching for my last uh, Lego Movie 2 minifigure, which I needed was Unikitty. This bag has literally been sitting in my basement for like the last five days. So I'm just gonna cut this open really quickly. Of course I fail at it. And yes, it is Unikitty. So I'm not gonna build that right now. I'll just put her to the side, but as you see, it is Unikitty. So we'll put that to the side and I'll build her later, but that does complete my Lego Movie 2 minifigure series. So I'll be able to put those on the plates and display them pretty soon. Then also when I was there, they always have a Lego clearance aisle. Um, the sets that I saw, I didn't really want. They had some Ninjago sets on sale, but they weren't anything that I was looking into. But I did find the popcorn cart. This was not on clearance. It was four bucks. But this was the last one they had, and they had about 20 of these a couple days prior. So it seems like people were buying them left and right, and I wanted to get my hands on one. I might go back. Hopefully they have some more so I can open one and build it, because I, I really do like the popcorn cart. I think it's a really uh, cool set. So I might go get another one of those. And then on clearance, um, I found these two. This one was Lego Harry Potter for $2.50. This is Harry's Journey to Hogwarts, 40 pieces. I'm not really a big Harry Potter fan, but anything on clearance for $2.50 for a poly bag, I'll take. So I'm going to keep that sealed. And I also found the Imperial AT Hauler from the Solo movie for 3 bucks. These are in the uh, clearance section, so I just thought, you know what, why not pick them up? Add them to my collection. So these three will be going to my poly bag collection, which is growing every single day. So put those to the side. Now, I think I'm going to go through the Lego shop at home first. Um, eBay is just one item, but it's to me it's a pretty big item because it's something I've been looking forward to a long time. I'll crack into this bad boy first. Actually, I don't think I need the knife. I do not. It's a big box. This is one of the bigger Lego boxes I've got. I'm going to hold it down here and just go through everything one at a time. Ugh, bubble wrap. Okay, so um, I'll go through smallest to largest. So obviously I was looking at clearance again, and I saw that they had some of the Star Wars brickheads on clearance. This is uh, Princess Leia and Darth Vader. I think they were both like 7 or 8 bucks, normally like 15 So I think I have all of them now. Um, I don't know. I'm not quite for sure. I'm I'm just getting into the brickheads. I think they're pretty cute, especially the Star Wars ones. So I picked up both of those. And then they had some of the Halloween ones on clearance also. Well, not Halloween, but I should say, uh, well, kind of. There's a Halloween one, and then there's a Thanksgiving one. So um, This is the Witch, 40272, and then the Turkey, 40273. So the reason I bought these is I kind of got an idea for uh, different holidays. That's the word I was looking for. For different holidays, I'd like to set up different stuff. So obviously these, this could go up for Thanksgiving and this could go up for Halloween. And Santa, I wanted uh, Santa Claus and Mrs. Claus, but they were actually sold out. So I couldn't get them. I was kind of disappointed because they were actually pretty cheap. So I got those, put those to the side. And then the big, oh, actually got one more thing. Nexo Nights. I saw this pack and I think it was like, Normally like 13 bucks and it was like two dollars and thirty cents. So I was like, you know what, why not? I don't know if I'll keep it sealed or open it and put the minifigures and pieces away for my collection. But you know, for two dollars and thirty cents, you can't really say no to that. Um, so that's a Nexo Knight, just like a pack. Doesn't really have a name. It says more oh that's an app. Yeah, it doesn't really have a name, but it's just a Nexo Knight uh, kind of battle pack kind of thing. So for two dollars and thirty cents I had to get that and then what the heck are these? Oh, I think with the purchase you got these free. These are Lego Movie 2 trading cards. So I'll have to open these up and see which ones I got because I know you can get a buy a whole container for them and everything. I think that's everything besides this, which is the reason I went to Lego Shop at Home, was to pick up the Corner Garage. This is the next Lego Expert, Lego Creator Expert um, Modular. This is 10264, the Corner Garage. 2,569 pieces. I thought it was a really nice build. Um, how many minifigures you get? One, two, three, four, five. You get six minifigures, a dog, a bunny, and a frog. So that's kind of nice. I decided to pick this up so I can further my Creator Expert collection. I don't have all of them. 
Um, there's a couple old ones, but I'm not really worried about those. So that is that. I'm going to put that to the side. And then probably the thing I'm most happy about is, obviously I'm a big Star Wars fan. I said I'm trying to convert my collection to just Star Wars. And the sets that I've wanted most are the UCS ones. Not those super old ones, but I think the first UCS set I started with was Obi-Wan Jedi Starfighter back here. That's not really UCS, but it's considered Ultimate Collector Series. That's the first one I got. And before that, they released a couple. They released the Super Star Destroyer, um, and then the one... Well, they're not exactly in order. There's just some, I picked and choose which UCS sets I want based on price and what I could afford at the time. So this is, well, I'll just open it and show you. I want to spoil it, but this I got on eBay. The guy was selling it for, I thought, a pretty good price. Um, this set originally sold for, I think, 300 and he was selling it for, I think, 350 or 360 something. Something like that. So I thought, you know what, might as well pick it up. And he sealed this thing very tight, which I am happy. People always complain, oh, it's sealed too tight, I can't open it. Like, that's good. That means the box is not completely obliterated. Oh! Alright. And I think the cello's in Montana. Kind of cool to get something from Montana. I didn't think they knew what the internet was. Alright. Oh! Yes! I'm so happy about this. I'm just hoping the box isn't damaged. The seller said, wow, he packed this very nicely. What a good guy. Um, he, packed, he wrapped it completely in bubble wrap and then sealed the box very tight. Um, I don't know if you guys can see it yet. Let me get the bubble wrap off. Wow. I hope I can remember the guy's name. Go tell him. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh. This box is perfect. I couldn't have asked for a better I couldn't ask for a better seller. I was looking through all the sellers for this set, and I was just thinking, oh boy, what am I going to do? So as you see, it is the sand crawler, which was sold in, I think, 2014. Never got my hands on it. I can't remember why. I think it was because of price at the time. I couldn't afford it. This box is in almost perfect condition. A little dented in the front, but I do not mind at all. But the way I store my boxes with all the other ones, it will get dented eventually. Let me just set that down. Oh my gosh, this is a beauty. Thank you, whatever your name was, from Montana. Um, so this is 75059, the Ultimate Collector Series Sandcrawler from 2014, 3,296 pieces. I am so happy to finally get my hands on this. Now speaking of the Ultimate Collector Series, it was this one I never got, the Imperial Shuttle um, from Revenge of the Return of the Jedi. And then uh, the uh, Super Star Destroyer, Darth Vader's flagship, the Executioner. The problem with those two is they're probably the most expensive. The Imperial Shuttle, I think, sold for 200 on Lego.com when it was out. People are selling it for almost 600 and I don't know if I'm willing to pay that. And then the Imperial Star Destroyer, which at right now I don't even think I'm ever going to buy because right now it's selling for 800 Some people are selling it for 1000 I don't really know if I'm ever going to get my hands on that because that's just a lot of money to spend for a set that I think sold for, I think it was $300 originally, maybe $350, $400, I can't remember, but it was not $800. I know that for a fact, so I'm just so happy to get my hands on this. The box is in almost perfect condition. I can't complain about it at all. People always say, why do you worry about the boxes? And for me, it's just I'm collecting. I collect the sets and I keep the boxes, obviously. I don't throw them away. Some people do. And I just keep them all stored, and I just like having the boxes in good condition. I don't know why. It's just something about me. And this box is absolutely beautiful. Out of all the sets I just got in this haul, I'm probably going to start with this one first, because this is the set I've been looking forward to the most. I think I ordered this a week ago, six days ago, something like that. And I've just been waiting every single day for it to come. So, that's my Lego haul from eBay, Walmart, and Lego Shop at Home. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me just put the sets over here really quickly. And just show you there yeah, those puppies are Rickheads and Unikitty and the poly bags. As you see, you see this sitting here. This isn't a design I was kind of working on for a phone stand. I don't really have one. I know the Lego Movie 2 has a movie maker set that has a phone stand. Probably going to pick that up just because I need something to hold my phone. I don't have a camcorder or anything to hold it. 
a stand so I'll probably have to pick that up just for the, uh, the phone stand um, so thank you guys for watching I am Lego Nathan expert or Lego expert Nathan whatever you want to call me thank you guys for watching my video hope you guys are having a great day hit the like button hit subscribe and have a good day